Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life, and in today's video we are going to be giving you our full review, all of our thoughts about Marvel Day at Sea, because as you guys know, we recently got back from a five night Marvel Day at Sea cruise on the Disney Magic, and today we're telling you everything. This will be specifically our review on Marvel Day at Sea, not on the magic. If you want to see our review on the Disney magic, we will link that below. But Sherry, first, uh, give us your overall thoughts, your overall feelings about Marvel Day at Sea. What is your review? It was so much fun. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> like, it was probably my single favorite day on any Disney cruise. Mm. We went into this day with pretty high expectations. I mean, it's Disney, it's Marvel. It had to be amazing, right? I don't think we were expecting it to be as amazing as it really was. Right. The first thing we're going to talk about is entertainment. There are a ton of things to do on Marvel Dead Sea, like a ton of things to do. The mm -hmm. fullest day we've ever experienced yes. on Disney Cruise for sure. Yes. And so uh, some of the things that we did, we didn't get to do everything. Like there was a lot of stuff we wanted to do. Just didn't have time. Just didn't have time. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sherry, first let's start with the biggest show of the day, the nighttime kind of deck show Marvel spectacular. What'd you think? Oh my gosh. So it was this whole like in incorporative show like I mean the fireworks were all incorporated and they had like obviously filmed things beforehand and it was just it was so fun like it, you have to do it. Yeah, my favorite Disney Cruise Deck <laughs> show. It was yeah. so cool. Stan Lee makes a cameo in the video yeah. which was obviously emotional. Um it was just so well done. The yeah. production was amazing and everywhere you looked it's like oh there's spider-man climbing over here there's loki up there there's you know what i mean it was just like it was every all around you it was yeah. so so good mm -hmm. uh there was a second deck show kind of thing earlier in the evening mm -hmm. with it, just like the fab five yeah and it was definitely we went to it it was more geared for kids mm -hmm. it was still a lot of fun and it was all of like the the main disney characters mickey minnie and all of them yep. in like their their favorite marvel character outfit which but was it, a lot of fun but it was thinking it was like teamwork Inspiration. inspiration you know and so it's kind of like that sort of like working together as a team <laughs> and so it was one of those things like i wouldn't do it again but, but if you have kids fun. and if you have kids they're probably gonna want to go yeah. um other things that we did that day i went to the uso show captain america's uso mm -hmm. show earlier in the day i really loved that it was kind of exactly what you would expect it was you know music from like the 40s so the music was great the singing was great the dancing was great uh cap comes out and gives an inspirational message <laughs> it was just like it was, it was basically exactly what you'd expect the captain america uso so show to be. Yeah. Uh, Sherry didn't get to go to that. She was back in our room packing. It was the last day, so I had to pack. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of other entertainment options around the mm -hmm. ship. Obviously, there's things like animation classes. Uh, one of the things I did, actually, was the first thing I did that morning was the Marvel Comic Vault. All oh, right. I didn't know what to expect because there wasn't a ton of information. And basically, it was just a bunch of iPads that you could check out and it had a ton of Marvel comics on it. You could just sit there in the promenade lounge and just flip through Marvel Comics. <laughs> kind of fun. Yeah. So lots of things like that. Mm -hmm. And similar to the entertainment, there were the meet and greets. Obviously, with any Disney experience, meet and greets, uh, getting to meet characters is huge. Yeah. And Marvel Day at Sea was no exception at all. Mm -hmm. uh, I will say this right from the beginning, we got to meet everybody we wanted to. Yeah. Which was awesome. And then some. And then some, for <laughs> sure. Uh, so here's how meet and greets work. Basically, if you've been on a Disney cruise, it's the exact same, mm -hmm. right? In your personal navigator um, or on the personal navigator app, you will be able to see what times the different meet and greets mm -hmm. are. You go get in line. I will say though, and Sherry, you pointed this out, um, the meet and greet lines for this longer much longer so not nearly like park long like yeah. you're not going to be waiting hours but usually the meet and greets for the characters on the ships are 15 to 20 minutes like you're kind of it's real quick um this was a lot longer yeah just it, plan ahead for that and especially like captain marvel obviously because like she's right. brand new new to the ship it was before her movie came out right. or was it right after it was, it was, it was right before the movie yeah. came out and so like everybody wanted to meet her yeah. right and so some of the meet and greet lines are long mm -hmm. uh but one thing that we didn't really expect or know was just how available the characters were going to be even outside of their right. meet and greets mm -hmm. like you'd be walking around i remember or even in our animation class right we're sitting there doing the animation class and hawkeye walks up mm -hmm. and then star lord walks up right and they're just like there right just like hanging out yeah so the characters <laughs> we got to meet just so you guys know who we got to meet on the ship right. uh we got to meet captain marvel 
who did, by the way, compliment Sherry's ears. She did. She, she said she was honored. They're amazing. Uh, so we got to meet <laughs> Captain America, uh, Captain Marvel, Captain America. Uh, from Guardians of the Galaxy, we got to meet Star-Lord. We got to meet Groot. We got to meet Gamora. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to meet Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. And Black Widow. Black Widow. And Thor and Loki. Thor, Loki. And Doctor Strange. And Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Black Panther. Black Panther. Iron, Iron Man, Man. And Groot. And Groot. So I think we already said Groot. But Groot had like his own special like meet and greet. Yeah. Uh, and so that was... We got to meet everybody. There was not a character we didn't get to meet. <laughs> right. And then also along with kind of like the... The Marvel characters, as Sherry kind of talked about earlier, they do have classic Disney characters on the ship in their Marvel costumes, yeah. which was so fun. So I got to get my photo taken with Goofy uh, in his Iron Man outfit. <laughs> and so it's not just Marvel characters, but it's also the classic Disney characters as well. And we got to see them all. Yeah. So most of the meet and greets are just, you like look at your navigator and you know, so-and-so is here at this time and you just kind of plan ahead for that. Yeah. But then there are, there were a couple ticketed meet and greets um, that were still free, you just had to kind of get a ticket. Um, so with that one, there was one for Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Iron Man, kind of all together in one room, and then the one for Groot. Yeah, we had no problem uh, booking those. We right. just did it online when we uh, checked in or when our booking window opened up for our crews. Uh, mm -hmm. However, I will say that we've heard that if you're not able to book them, go to guest services and ask, right? That's one thing with Disney, always ask. If you can't get something you want, they will do their best to accommodate you. So if you mm -hmm. didn't get the meet and greet pass you want, there still might be a chance. Yep, because um, those characters did not have other meet and greets around the ship. Like that's the the place to meet them. Yep. Unless you caught them like between. Yeah, because they were walking around mm -hmm. a ton. Right. Now moving on to one of the most important parts of any Disney cruise share, let's talk about food and drink. Mm -hmm. um, there are some special things that happen on Marvel Day at Sea. Yep. Obviously everything is themed from menus to food to, to all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about dinner. Dinner was a little bit different. What were your thoughts on the Marvel Day at Sea dinner? Uh, the menu itself, like the actual paper menu was so fun. Yeah. It was like all the Marvel characters and like cap shield kind of like coming out the back of it like it was not actually but like it kind of looked like it yep. and the kids menus that were on every table for you to take home if you wanted to was um thor's hammer i can't i'm not gonna try to pronounce it Milner. sure and um cap's shield and so that was th those were just super fun yeah, the food was, uh, I, I will say that there's nothing about the food that stood out to us. Right. But, I mean, it wasn't bad. It, it just, was just, it was good. It yeah, was it was just Disney. Disney Cruise. Good food. Yeah, good food. And each menu item was kind of named after like a, a Marvel theme or character. Yep. Which was fun. And there are like little touches, like some of the desserts I remember, I think Desi got a dessert and it had like, it was like a, ice cream sundae, ice cream sundae mm -hmm. and it had like a piece of chocolate on top that had like the Marvel logo on it. Right. But to me, the whole highlight of the whole day as far as food and drink goes, <laughs> was the adult drink of the day. <laughs> yeah. It was called the Smash. It was so good. Oh my. Like my favorite, probably my favorite drink of the day I've ever had on a Disney mm, cruise. I think we had a few of them. They were absolutely they were so good. delicious. So if you're going on a Marvel Day at Sea and you're a fan of the drink of the day, definitely don't pass up on the Smash because as far as the food and drink goes, that was my favorite. Yeah. So moving on to some pro tips, some things that we learned or wish we had known before we went. And the first one has to do with meet and greets. Now, especially for some of the, the more popular meet and greets, the lines can get kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. And so if there's somebody you really want to meet, like for example, Captain Marvel, um, for us, we arrived early to her meet and greet but it honestly saved us time. So I don't remember how early we arrived. I think it was like half an hour, 45 minutes before her actual meet and greet. But the line to meet her got so long. Yeah. So I'll say if there's a character that is like, man, I've got to make sure I meet them, uh, it might be good to show up 10, 15 minutes at least uh, mm -hmm. beforehand, because that might save you a bunch of time later on. Right, but you might not need to wait in line quite as long with this next tip. So one of the things that we didn't know uh, is you know, in the morning, the lines were crazy, right? First meet and greets of the day, everybody we went wants to the first Captain Marvel meet and greet. Yeah, but it's like, oh, there's Thor for the first time. Everybody wants to go meet him. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the lines in the morning were crazy. But one thing that we did notice throughout the day, the lines kept getting shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, and most of the characters had multiple meet and greet times throughout the day. Yeah. So uh, honestly, if we had to do it again, I would probably not do meet and greets in the morning. Right. I would save those for probably like early afternoon time. Maybe 2, 3 p.m. Yeah, because it seemed like the lines were much shorter. Now, yeah. granted, that maybe that was just on our cruise, <laughs> but it seemed like you could have really saved a lot of time if you would have skipped morning meet and greets, done the afternoon, yeah. uh, because that's most of the people were in the morning. The lines in the afternoon, much more manageable. And the last pro tip, uh, don't forget to pick up your Marvel Day at Sea merch. 
So on Marvel Day at Sea, there's Marvel Day at Sea stuff in all of the shops. But throughout your whole cruise, there is kind of a dedicated gift shop and it's over by O'Gill's yeah. Pub. It's the small gift shop that's over there. It's called Sea Treasures. Yeah. Um, and it's all exclusive Marvel Day at Sea. Yeah. And they had, Sherry, like, what were some of the things they had? Uh, well, they had a Captain America shield that I saw a lot of people using for the characters to sign, which was a really cool idea. Great idea. Um, they had all of your pins and ornaments and whatever specific to Marvel Day at Sea. They had backpacks and shirts and hats and, I mean, all of just like the normal kind of merch, but specific to Marvel Day at Sea. It was so great. If you saw our Disney Cruise mm -hmm. Hall, you saw some of the things that we picked up, ornaments and pins, that kind of stuff. Uh, and we also picked up, remember, if you're going on a Marvel Day at Sea cruise, this is the throw they put across your bed uh, on Marvel Day at Sea. Yep. That's yours to take. Uh, if you watched our vlog. They don't tell you that, but you can take it. Yeah, well, thank goodness our stateroom host did tell us that. Right. Because if you watched our vlog, that was our inner dilemma. We saw this on our bed. We're like, we want that. How much will Disney charge us if we steal it? <laughs> and then our stateroom host said, no, that's yours to take. So, uh, but also we've heard from a number of people who didn't know they could take this right. and left it. And then we're like bummed. So right. we did also see people um, actually having the character sign this. That's a great idea. A cool idea. So yeah, if you're looking for stuff to get people to, or for the characters to sign, mm -hmm. the bed throw is a great one. I yeah. love the shield idea. It was yeah. so cool seeing Cap's And it wasn't shield. huge. It was probably, you know, this big. It was not like the massive shield, but no. it was big enough for all the characters to sign it. And then you kind of have like memento. And that Marvel Day at Sea shop is actually open the whole cruise whenever you're not in port. And so I would suggest getting your Marvel merch before Marvel Day at Sea, because I'm, I'm assuming it's probably pretty busy that day. People like scrambling, like, I need a shirt. So get it beforehand, be ready, and then you can just focus on the actual activities. Especially if you're having characters sign the shield, like buy that stuff in right. advance. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna talk about ways that we think Disney could actually improve Marvel Day at Sea. But you guys, Sher and I talked about <laughs> this for a while, and honestly, we could only come up with one. <laughs> And that one thing has to do with the location of certain events around the ship on Marvel Day at Sea. And I'm gonna use the animation class as an example. So Marvel Day at Sea is unbelievably packed. So pretty much every space is getting used on Marvel Day at Sea. So sometimes they fit things into spaces that honestly, just aren't that great. So our animation class was in the Promenade Lounge. The problem is that there's only a screen kind of like off to the side and a very kind of limited row of tables could see it. Right, and is bright. I mean, there's the portholes all the way along and it's because it's right next to the decks. And yeah. so it's very bright in there and you're trying to see the screen that's like off to the side and behind pillars. And I mean, honestly, by probably three quarters, halfway through the, the class, like half the people had just left because yep. you couldn't you see couldn't the see screen. Anything. You couldn't see what you were trying to draw. Yeah, and so, so it was the kind of thing like I wouldn't do uh, animation and we love, you guys know, any, mm -hmm. any cruise, we always do animation classes. We love them. Yeah. Um, but this one was just kind of a crappy experience. But yeah, because it was just a terrible location. I mean, I feel like they could have put something else, like switched and kind of had it in an inside room where you can actually see the screen. I yeah. mean, it's only like half an hour. It's not like it takes up hours of the time. So yeah. I don't know. I just feel like the planning of that was poorly planned. Like yeah. don't do the class or put it in a place where people will actually be able to see what they're trying to draw. But honestly, other than that, we really couldn't think of other things they right. could improve because the day was pretty perfect. So as we start to wrap up this video, we're gonna give you just kind of some final thoughts around Marvel Day at Sea. Uh, number one, if you're planning on going to Marvel Day at Sea, know it is unbelievably packed. Yes. So much to do from the early, early till late, late. So choose mm -hmm. the things you wanna do and make sure you do those but just realize that like, you're not gonna be able to do it all. You will not be able to do it all. No. <laughs> we have also had people ask if they are not Marvel fans, if it's worth it booking this cruise. Um, I would still say yes. Yeah. I mean, this was one day out of the whole cruise. And so if you're on, you know, the five night, you still have four other full days to experience other things that are like the normal Disney Cruise kind of stuff, so. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. I think that, first of all, if you're a Marvel fan, you've gotta do this cruise. <laughs> yeah. But if you're not a Marvel fan, like, just know it is Marvel everywhere. It's very like, immersive. Even the like music as you're walking through the halls that day is Marvel, it's not mm -hmm. typical Disney Cruise music. Right. Um, so know that it, it is very immersive, and mm -hmm. so Marvel is everywhere. But one thing I did notice, we went up to the pool deck a couple times that day, and the pool deck was pretty empty. Like, because especially everybody was out doing like the Marvel stuff. Yeah, because there's so much to do. Right. So maybe if you're not a Marvel fan, maybe you get like a relaxing day by the pool with not nearly as many people. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say that if you're looking at a Marvel Day at Sea Cruise, but you're not a Marvel fan, um, I, I wouldn't let this deter you from booking right. because I don't see this as, um, I, I don't know, I don't think you lose anything by booking this. I don't think so. It was it was just a lot of fun. Yeah. Sherry, what was your very favorite part? 
of Marvel Day at Sea Cruise? Um, I think meeting Captain Marvel. Yeah. It was it was so much fun, especially because the movie hadn't come out yet, and so she was still sort of like a mystery character. And I mean, all the characters were very like chatty, <laughs> um, which I liked. I mean, yeah. they all, you know, she said she was honored for my ears, and you know, uh, asked like questions. Asked. She told us all about her best friend Goose, her cat, <laughs> and you know, it was just it was that it was that kind of stuff like throughout the day. But she was she was a lot of fun. Yeah, meeting her was great. I think for me, um, it was a totally unexpected thing that ended up being my highlight. I don't even remember what it was called on the personal navigator. <laughs> it was some kind of a dance party, and it's in the lobby atrium, and it's like a Guardians Gal Galaxy Guardians of the Galaxy dance party. But I don't think like it was 80s like eighties music something. Yeah, like, it's kind of just how it was built, just like the eighties music. And so. We didn't know what to expect. It was amazing. It was so funny. Because all of the characters, with the exception of Captain Marvel, just because because she was so new, like mm -hmm. she was the only character that really wasn't out walking around. Right. All of the rest of them were. Mm -hmm. And so there's like this 80s dance party in the atrium, and all of a sudden, every character is there. Yeah. Like you look over on this landing, and there's like all of the guardians, and they're dancing to 80s music of course. Mm -hmm. And you look like immediately up from them and there's Black Panther. And then you see like Doctor Strange over here and Spider-Man and like Black Widow and Hawk. And <laughs> it's it was one of those moments I was like, everybody I wanted to see is literally in right this room. We're all here. <laughs> and so it was just like, I don't know, it was perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, it was so good. That it's one of the things that I would say if, if I had a few like, don't miss this kind of events, mm -hmm. that to me is probably number one. And they don't like bill it like that. I mean, they it was really just like the 80s dance party in the atrium or something like that. And yeah. so like, it was just something that we just sort of like happened upon. And we were just like, yeah, sure, we'll hang out and watch because it's 80s music. What's not fun about that? Yep. And then, like, the Guardians, like, showed up and started, like, dancing. And I was like, um, okay. <laughs> so, so I'd say the things that you can't miss, number one for me is that. Number two, it's the late night nighttime show. Mm -hmm. Sherry Beth, what would a third one be? Do you have, like, another, like, don't miss this kind of thing on Marvel Day at Sea? Um, I would say probably just be sure that you're, like, out and about on the ship because there are so many characters that are just kind of wandering around. And you don't necessarily, like, you may not only get to see them at the meet and greets. Yeah, I remember a couple times, like, just random walking down a stairwell, it's like, there's character. Right. Right, and so it's kind of thing that if you're uh, in your room, you're not going to get to see that. So yeah, be out about That's a good mm -hmm. one. So you guys, that's going to be it for this video. But we want to hear from you. Number one, have you ever been on a Marvel Day at Sea cruise? And what was your experience like? Let us know in the comments below. Number two, are you looking at booking a Marvel Day at Sea cruise? And do you have any questions you want to ask us? We love answering you guys' questions. We love interacting with you. So let us know those down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, uh, please do. And give this video a thumbs up. And we will see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.